video is part of an exciting collaboration with Second Thought. Make sure you watch their video after this one. The heart is a vital organ in the body. Usually people are pronounced dead when their heart stops beating. So what if we didn't have one? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we're asking can you live without a heart? Before we jump into this big biological answer for you, I want to check that you guys are subscribed to our channel and if you are, then have you clicked on that notification bell. If you haven't, then please click that big beautiful bell and make sure you're the first to hear answers to our life's biggest questions. Hearts keep humans and most animals alive. We breathe in oxygen which is diffused into our blood from cells in our body. The heart works by pumping oxygenated blood around the body, keeping it alive and healthy. It also works to pump away all of the carbon dioxide produced when we breathe in too, pumping deoxygenated air into the lungs which is diffused in the walls of the alveoli. Our heart is a crucial control center in the natural machine that is our body. Without it, the body would have no way of transporting blood and oxygen, which would mean organs, including the brain, would die and our blood would congeal. The longest we can survive without the heart pumping blood around the body is approximately 4 minutes. This is the amount of time the brain can go without oxygen before brain cells start dying. This is why some people revived after 4 minutes live, but suffer severe brain damage. In short, we can live without a heart for little under 5 minutes, unless… Well, that is the big unless, ladies and gentlemen, because once again, science makes the impossible possible. You may want to know that there are a small handful of people who have lived without a heart. The concept of artificial hearts has been discussed and experimented on by scientists since 1937. This was when an artificial heart was inserted into a dog by Soviet scientists. More recently, doctors started testing a continuous flow device in a number of cows. This was a heart-like contraption that used blades to control and circulate blood flow. In 2011, this device was installed into a very ill patient, Craig Lewis, who was suffering with a heart condition and was told that he was about to die. When the continuous flow device was installed into 55 year old Lewis, he became the world's first heartless man. When doctors listened to his chest, he had no pulse, but blood was being pumped around his body, allowing him to live. Sadly, he did die after five weeks, but this was as a result of an underlying health issue. A bigger success story, whilst waiting for a heart transplant, fitness model Andrew Jones had an artificial heart and pacemaker put in a backpack. Not only was he living without a heart, he managed to maintain a fit body, which is incredible. He once said, I'm pretty much the best looking zombie you'll ever see. Similarly, a 25 year old American called Stan Larkin lived with an artificial heart for almost two years before receiving a real heart. Moreover, there are some species that don't even need hearts altogether. Jellyfish, for example, don't have hearts, nor do sponges or flatworms. These animals have other circulatory systems, but as humans do not work this way, we need hearts. So, in answer to our question, humans can indeed live without a heart so long as they have a heart like device device that is able to pump blood in a way that a heart would do, however, at the moment these seem only temporary fixes for people awaiting transplants. Although, as with all medical advancements, who knows what the future of science may hold. Perhaps one day we will create an artificial heart good enough to allow us to live without a real one. So that is one big question answered for you, what would you like us to answer next? Do you have any question suggestions? Our Patreon members are able to suggest new videos for us, so there is a link to that in the description box down below if that sounds like something you want to do. Thank you guys for tuning into this video, I'm Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but for now make sure you like this video, give it a good thumbs up, and of course stay curious, stay alert and never ever stop questioning. If you like this video, make sure you check out this one by Second Thought, where they explore the future of non-biological organs and other such augmentations. Exciting. 